Hello and welcome comrade! I'm Gerald and this is tutorial 13 for workers and resources, Soviet Republic. The topic for today, forklifts and distribution. In case you missed the previous tutorials, the link with the playlist is in the description of the video. Now, let's forklift and distribute. Build a warehouse to expand factory storage. If a factory runs out of storage, you can expand its storage capacity by purchasing additional storage buildings and connecting them using factory connections, conveyors or pipelines. When a vehicle comes to the factory, it still will be able to load materials from the neighboring building even if it's only connected to the factory. If connected to multiple storage buildings, the factory will choose the one that contains fewer products. Everything makes complete engineering sense as you can imagine already with this game okay so let's see what we're going to do today warehouse okay warehouse perfect work comrade so we are going to connect it to this food factory all right let's do that remove the conveyor to fix the chain storage buildings are passive unlike factories they cannot push or pull resources from neighboring buildings on their own. Ah, okay, so that's another thing that we're going to do. So here we are getting the food already from the food factory because the... No, actually the, the warehouse here is not full, but I guess it's going to start getting full once this warehouse is full. Which makes sense. So first it tries to uh, fill the outside warehouse and then it's going to fill up this one if it's connected to an outside one. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Cancel the conveyor connection. Good work, comrade. To move resources between storages or any other buildings, you can place conveyor engines which can take resources from input buildings and move them to output buildings. Ah, so the lesson here was that this direct connection that we just destroyed is not going to pull the resources automatically. We need to use a conveyor engine for transferring that and here with the conveyor engines you have uh, one input with three outputs and you have the different uh, types if I remember correctly is that the for example here the input is on the top the output is on the bottom this one is the same but higher yep and this one is kind of in the middle right yes and this one is the higher one but in the middle okay interesting sure let's do it oops there we go perfect work comrade these are very expensive by the way to produce and as you can see now we have already the what is this gravel moving from one storage to the other storage Cool stuff. Build the pipeline over the road. Use the E key to elevate. You can adjust the height of the pipelines and bridges by using the Q and E keys. Uh, in this case, it's not going to be those keys, I imagine. It's going to be some other keys. Precise scroll wheel. Increase bridge height. With me, it's going to be F and G. There we go. Ah, this already has to be higher then. Boom. No, no boom. Come on. Uh, can we do it? Yes, we can. There we go. And we have the same thing for pipelines as you can see here. It's super similar to what we saw previously for the conveyors, but it's for pipes. Build a forklift garage. If you have a similar situation with stored resources that cannot be pushed by conveyors or pipelines, you can use forklifts to do the job. So, when you don't have, when it's not um, um, some kind of an oil or liquid or an aggregate uh, material, which is um, gravel, stone coal, or all the ores, bauxite or uranium ore, these are the aggregates. 
then you have to use forklifts. And in the majority of cases, is for warehouse products, if not for all cases. And also open warehouse, um, open storage, sorry, where you have like steel and things like that as well, I think. Uh, where are we going to put it? Okay, here. Let's see. Okay, so now we have a forklift connection between this... Purchase a forklift. Between this open storage and this open storage. And unless we buy a forklift here... Not as assigned to some task. Add a new connection. Now select the source building. This is where the forklift with load resources to be relocated. Update load and load checkbox as needed. So here... What is this? Storage percent. Unload. Aha! So we're just going to load from here. And we're going to unload in the other one. You're doing great. Ah! Until the percentage is, what, less than 30? Let's see, let's see, that's interesting. Because it didn't explain, right? Vehicles load card from buildings when building storages are filled to a bigger percent. Aha, so yeah. So if it has 30% or more, it's going to load it. So we should see it very soon to stop loading. Or the idea is that this one has to be at 10%. But we are already taking the boards by these um, trucks here. Yeah, I guess the idea then is that this one has to be at 30%. Because this one is already below 30%. Ah, no. I was wrong. Let's see. Field, 31%. Let's see. 30.76. We could have bought another one to make things faster. I cannot. I don't have money or I'm not allowed. Which one is it? 3023. Okay, I guess on the next one we will know for sure. 2970. Delivered and I was going to go back to the office. Yes. Okay, so uh, the percentage. Sorry. The percentage here is the percentage of the incoming building, of the input building. Very good to know. Ah, and you can also control this percentage here, obviously. Oh my god. Okay, build a distribution office. Oh, these are very, very important, actually. You can use the existing road network and set up a distribution office, which will automatically operate trucks according to the actual situation in your production chains. This building is great for distributing goods to shops. We have small distribution office and a train distribution office. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that now we have two of them. Has a rail connection, of course. Here we have a small, medium and a free one. We will build a small one today. Good work, comrade. The distribution office is a very, very important building because it's going to Automatically distribute resources where they are needed. Purchase a truck for the distribution office. You're doing great, comrade. Send an existing truck to work for the distribution office by using the change depot or workplace button in the vehicle interface. Don't forget, you can change the assigned building of any truck and send it to work in a different building using this button. So this is how you reassign trucks or other vehicles to work for a different type of building. Let's say from a construction office to a distribution office or construction to construction or anything like that. Select the source building for the trucks to load resources from. Choose to take resources from the food factory. You can also set the percentage. If you set for example 80%, trucks will take resources from this building only if the storage where the resource is stored is filled to more than 80% of its capacity. Ah, so it works similar to the forklifts. We will have a load and load uh, situation and we will be able to choose percentages. 
manage office tasks 0 out of 20 ah so there is a limit of the tasks that they can do change order no tasks for popping no vehicles have loaded cargo for unload so we are going to be choosing this for loading and not for unloading well makes sense so food is going to come from the food factory obviously or the warehouse because it's connected the destination building is going to be the shopping center because we're selling food here select the destination building for the trucks to deliver unload the resource to let's select one shopping center adjust the loading and loading checkboxes as needed you can set the percentage value if you set it to 50 percent this will tell the trucks to unload the resource only if the destination storage is filled to less than 50% of its capacity. So load works this percentage of higher, unload works this percentage or lower. Good job. So now we should start seeing them, right? Yeah, so now he's uh, moving, he's going to go to load 60% of food and then load 100% at the shopping center and then he's going to go back to the distribution office this is how the distribution office works very important building so that you don't have to manually do everything yourself select the second destination building second shop you can set multiple source or destination buildings this distribution office is very useful for example to distribute goods to shops but you can use it for anything else as well. So we are going to use... Ah, that's another uh, shopping center. Yes. That's all for this tutorial. And there it is. The other truck is going to the other... Oops, sorry. To the... That should be the shopping center. No, this one. To the other shopping center that we just assigned. So this is how the distribution office uh, works. It's extremely important building. And also how the forklifts work, which are also very important when you have uh, multiple factories set up or open storages or anything else connected. Great. Now that everything is forklifted and distributed, it's time for you to share your thoughts in the comment section or just say hi. Anyway, if you don't have anything in mind, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.